This is a Regain Wellness Supplement Review. Today I'm reviewing naturebox.com. Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the Regain Wellness Supplement Review. So these are things I shows I add in on top of the regular Regain Wellness podcast and uh, review all lines of supplements. Today's a little bit different because it's a snack service. If you've um, not heard of naturebox.com, I'll get into the whole thing. But the idea with all the reviews I do specifically around supplements is uh, a lot of my background is in not just in personal training and fitness, but working in um, health food stores and supplement centers and managing places like that. So I've seen every product known to man and I've tried every product too. Just, you know, when you're um, in charge of what's going on shelves and what you're promoting. And I wanted to be able to not just stand behind things, but I like to share information from actual experience so I can say I've used it. So that was just something, whether they're absolute crap or amazing, I've, I've seen them all. So, uh, I've seen some things and that's the whole idea with this show is I can just, you know, go over some top supplements or things if you're looking into or you're wanting to avoid. And just, you know, I'll probably say this every show, a supplement is, you know, you don't want to depend on these any at all for your overall health or wellness or fitness or whatever. They should be added into a, a good, well-rounded approach to specifically your diet, like a real whole foods based approach. Um, you know, good, adequate sleep, good water intake, all that, then supplements can have a place and stuff like that. So let's just get right to today's show. So like I said, this isn't about a specific supplement, but something I found, um, I think worth reviewing just because it's one of those subscription box services, which are really huge now and all over the place. You'll see them from like just off the top of my head, you see ones that are home clothing delivery, like trunk box for men or something like that. Um, you know, and they'll deliver clothes to you. And then there's monthly packages that'll have anything from, you know, <clears throat> Star Wars and figures and comic book stuff to cheese and jelly of the month clubs and ones that do specialty cured meats each month. And I use one called, um, dollarshaveclub.com and they send you razor blades and stuff each month. So, I mean, these like subscription um, packages and promotions are a big deal. And the company naturebox.com, if you're not familiar with them, they've been around for a little while. And the idea is to provide higher quality snacks to eat well, live better and things like that. So it's the same idea that you have a monthly box of snacks come and they're they're constantly changing you can put some like your favorites in and then they basically just show up and it, it's a regular monthly um service and i just i thought like this time of year as it's getting close to christmas either people are signing up for these things or giving them as gifts um it's obviously a year-round thing so worth reviewing this time of year and if, if something you're just you're looking into so the idea with it is is pretty simple. Is you go on the website, so it's naturebox.com. Again, any of these things I'm talking about, I have no connection with. I'm not sponsored or whatever. They're just things I use or I've seen or I just want to pass on information to. So naturebox.com, you go on and you can browse through all the different snacks. And when you sign up, you get your first month is free. So they send you off. I think it's just their kind of staple amount of snacks. You get like six or eight, whatever to start. And then after that, you you know, you sign up for the club and it's only, I think like $5 per month. And then that's, you know, each month it comes through. So you go through on the website and you can see all the different categories they have. So they've got gluten-free things, vegan, non-GMOs, ones that are less than 150 calories. They have low fat no sugar added, less than 10 grams of sugar, less than 15 grams of carbs, good sources of protein, good fiber choices. They have low sodium options. You can pick your preferences based around savory things or sweet or spicy. Um, and then from there, they're, 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 there's a ton of different stuff now. Like they've really expanded. There's different, you know, they do breakfast bars and cookies and chips and pretzels and dried fruit. They do a lot of fruit chew things. Now they're getting into like jerkies 
and all that sort of stuff. So the idea is like it's a constantly um, revolving subscription and I've used it myself. I haven't used it in Canada. It was when I was living in the States. So I'm pretty certain it does deliver to Canada then they do the regular things. And depending where you live, I'm not sure what the situation is as far as, you know, if they're involved overseas or there's similarities or whatnot. But when I was living in the States and did it, I find shipping within the U S is amazing. Like I live in Canada and I don't know, things just are, don't get here as quick. I mean, we're both relatively giant countries, but in the U S the, I mean, the box came within a few days. So when I signed up and got the free, um, trial, so I, I, tried a bunch of different ones. So at the moment right now they have a hundred different products. And so when you sign up, it's pretty simple. Like you just sign up, start an account, name, email, you set up, um, payment information. So then again, like you're not getting billed right away. You can try the first month, month three, get a sampling of their things. And then, um, after that, it's just like a, a reoccurring monthly subscription. So, I mean, you can even cancel after that first month and not have to pay a cent and you actually get those free snacks. So it gives you kind of a good overview of everything. So what are some of the different products they offer? So it's going to be hard to go through. Obviously I'm not going to cover all hundred of them, but, uh, the big, here's what they say. Um, when you start off, they have what they call the great eight and it combines all their, uh, their most popular snacks, which include, so apparently here's the ones that everyone likes the best. So this will be their Big Island Pineapple Snack. There's salt and vinegar veggie chips. There's aged cheddar lentil loops. There's mini cocoa Belgium waffles, lemon almond biscotti bites, uh, Asiago and cheddar cheese crisps. And they do a sweet and spicy buffalo popcorn and also sweet blueberry almonds. So I've tried the almonds. I've had the lentil loops. I tried the mini cocoa Belgian waffles. Um, like I said, that when you, when you put it on just to have them randomly come, you won't necessarily even see the same snacks again. There's so much. So I'd started going through it a bit and obviously not even got close to the hundred different snacks. So tried quite a few. And so here's the thing, like to break it down, there's a couple different categories. Like when I was going through, I like, I preferred the higher protein based thing. Um, I liked the good fiber choice ones. I liked the lower carb versions. So you can get a lot of those. So some of the choices are, are really good. So one of the, another really big popular ones are the peanut butter nom noms. So I think that was one of the first ones I tried. So when you're looking at it as their little snack pack, this is just one taking as an example, the, servings in just this one pack, there's four of them. And one serving size is considered two pieces. So in this situation, you've got uh, things that are in, like uh, ingredient wise, it's made up of rolled oats, almonds, peanut butter. Um, it's got honey, sugar, canola oil, oil, uh, oil, easy for me to say, dark chocolate, chips. It's got uh, cocoa, dry buttermilk, egg whites, unsweetened coconut, brown rice, brown rice syrup, vanilla extract, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, natural flavor, salt. So the idea with the company is they, they avoid artificial flavors and artificial ingredients and stuff like that. And they try to keep it as natural as possible, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a absolute health product, which I'll get to in a minute here. So just example with this peanut butter nom nom, they're like a little cookie sort of bite type thing. So in one serving of that, which they consider two pieces, there's 150 calories, there's eight grams of fat, two grams from saturated fat, there's uh, 17 grams of carbs, you got two grams of fiber, seven grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. So not too bad. So that's got a bunch of different ingredients. But then they have, say they, they're roasted salted almonds, which is more of a straight protein. Um, you know, it's not going to have any different carbs and stuff. So if you're looking for more of a lower glycemic protein based, um, choices, they have that with a lot of their nuts, but then you can get into I'm just looking here, their cinnamon yogurt pretzels. And again, like I'm just picking some of these random from all the different categories, just so you can get a bit of an idea. 
Um, this cinnamon yogurt pretzels have cinnamon yogurt and whey powder and dry non-fat yogurt, soy lecithin, salt, natural vanilla extract, ground cinnamon. Pretzels are made of unbleached and rich wheat flour. Uh, it's got flour, niacin, reduced uh, iron, thiamine. It's got some B vitamins in there, malt, salt, soybean, and or canola oil and yeast. And in a pack of those, you've got um, one serving size, which is considered six pretzels, and one pack has four servings. So the one serving of six pretzels will give you 140 calories, six grams of fat, 4.5 grams of saturated fat, uh, 23 grams of carbs, 14 grams of sugar, and only two grams of protein. So you can see, depending on what you're looking for, you can get, uh, like this I wouldn't consider, this like the cinnamon yogurt pretzels a protein source at all. But if that's what you're looking for, if you're a little more active, if you're in the gym, if you're looking to build more muscle or just keep your protein intake up high or keeping it a little more low carb, you'll have to go with more of like their nut based and whatever things. And some of these, um, like this, these cinnamon yogurt pretzels are going to be a little higher carb choice. So like I said, I can't get into all of the different products. Like you have all the different categories. You can break it down, which is more specific to you. So, but like I said, I mean, these are meant to replace your usual snacks. Like if you're going for a bag of Doritos or a Snickers bar or whatever, that's the idea with nature box is you're getting a little more, it's, it's tough to call it absolutely natural. Um, but they're getting away, like I said, from artificial flavors and ingredients, but I, I was a little disappointed because I wouldn't call these health food per se. I think people get into um, products like this and they think it's a, a great health overhaul and it, they're giving themselves a ton of great nutrition and minerals and, and vitamins and antioxidants. And some of those things will have them, especially maybe some of the, some of the berry based things or like, you know, anything that containing a lot of the almonds or whatever, you're going to get more, you know, magnesium and, um, healthy fats and stuff like that. But if you're looking, I, I'm not picking on the cinnamon yogurt pretzels, but if you're looking this at this here, that they're the yogurt, the cinnamon yogurt they make has yogurt flavored confectionery coating, which includes sugar, vegetable oils that are palm kernels and, um, or palm oils. And a lot of these oils they use, they use a lot of this stuff. Like there's so soybean oil and canola oil and, the palm kernel oil and a lot of these vegetable refined oils are, are something you really should stay away from. They're really um, observed to increase inflammation in the body. And whereas something really good like coconut oil or olive oil, um, the different type, a cleaner type oil, whereas you, if you have too many omega sixes, you throw your omega three and six balance out of whack. Ideally you want, that to be like a one-to-one -one ratio, pretty even. But since we eat so many refined foods and products, we're exposed to more of these omega-6s from these inferior sources, like these vegetable oils, like canola and um, palm oils and whatnot. So they throw our balance out of whack, and our omega-3 to 6 ratio is, in the Western world, tends to be upwards of 20, even 40 to 1. So when this is really out of, out of balance, that's when you're looking at a lot of inflammation in the body, which can have a lot of problems with the root of a lot of diseases. Um, basically just not keeping your body as efficient as possible where, um, you know, like omega threes are really good for brain health and cognitive function. And, and these, um, inferior oils are like to just, you know, have that kind of, um, reverse effect and, there are some links with different cognitive issues and whatnot. I'll link up a little more. This is a whole huge topic um, just on the omega-6 and omega-3 thing. So I'll link up some episodes and blogs I did on this if you want to go to the show notes today, which is regainwellness.com slash nature box. And so if you just want to get a little more information on it, because I think it's when people talk about you know big health changes you can make, that's usually one of the top ones up there is to get get rid of, ditch the seed oils, get rid of the vegetable oils and the soybean and the canolas and switch over to the coconut oils and the olive oils and avocado oils, which is a, a better substitute. So that was my big issue with Nature Box when I got these things. I thought it was going to be a little more cleaner and organic 
and whatnot. And some of the products are definitely good. Like I said, if you can go with some more of the um, the higher protein based choices, those will be good. But I was getting these things like wherever I go, I just I read ingredients on everything. Um, and the more obviously the more ingredients you see on a package the more it's probably something you might want to stay away from. And then when I'm seeing some of these very, I mean, I guess technically, you know, um, canola or soybean oil or vegetable oil is technically a natural product because it comes from a natural source, but they are super refined down um, oils. It's the same thing with like um, white flour. It's it's a refined um kind of degraded version of what it originally came from. And when you refine these things down, that's when they cause the real problems. So I, I was I was kind of surprised to see these containing a lot of ingredients that a lot of, you know, stuff you'd find in in fast food, sorry, not fast food, but just like um, convenience store shelves or that sit around um, displays that have, you know, just chips and chocolate, and whatever. And a lot of these things contain the exact same ingredients, which was kind of disappointing to see. So I'm not bashing the company. I'm just, yeah, I, I was expecting a little more from some of it. But like if, like I said, if you're using um, a subscription service like NatureBox, I would go for, there are good choices there. I would just go for more of the, the protein-based things. So here's one. There's a chocolate hazelnut granola. Um, it's got whole rolled oats, but it's got some milled cane sugar as its second ingredient, which means it contains quite a lot of sugar. It's got chocolate chunks in it, um, rice flour, hazelnuts, whole oat flour. There's some more vegetable oil again. And it's a, it's got it kind of confusing. So on this one, it lists vegetable oil. And it says canola oil or safflower and or sunflower oil. So not necessarily sure what you're getting in it. Then it's got honey, salt, natural flavor, barley, malt syrup. So to me, this isn't much different than just a granola bar you would buy off the shelf somewhere. This might have less artificial ingredients, but still has some, you know, kind of detrimental um, things to it. So some of the really good things they have are, you know, they have these sweet blueberry almonds, which is not a bad choice. They have a harvest nut mix, which is pretty good. Um, they have salt and pepper pistachios, pretty simple. Teriyaki beef jerky. These aren't too bad. Um, Sweet and salty nut medley, that's good. They have a hickory smoked turkey jerky. They have a spicy pub mix of nuts. Lots of like trail mix sort of things. Um, a lot of like just even straight raw almonds. Um, so yeah, here's some more of this. What's this? Blueberry apple and sunflower seed oatmeal. That one's not too bad either. But that would be my advice is stay away from the more carbohydrate-based um, less protein containing choices on nature box if you use it and go for more of the protein, um, and a little more of the fiber choices and then see how those can get, get mixed into whatever you're going with. So if you try it, you know, you get that first month free, but you don't get to choose what's coming in on that first month. They just sort of send you a sample of a bit of everything. So more of a carb based thing. They'll have more of like a fruit chew thing. There'll be a protein one. And then after that, you can kind of narrow it down with what you like. So, um, like I said, I, I was, I'll have to be honest, just disappointed when I got into it, seeing some of these choices when I thought it was going to be all snacks and all things that were just a super clean, organic, minimal ingredient type snack. And maybe there's a market out there for something like that. And they, these might exist that I just haven't seen yet. It'll be something I have to look into a little more that uses just simple ingredients that avoids um, refined sugars, refined vegetable oils, and stuff like that. So NatureBox has those issues, but there are choices you can make in there that are, I think, a little more um, health conscious and a little more um, nutrition centered around avoiding a lot of those added as ingredients. I don't think you really need. So go check that out, naturebox.com. Tell me what you think of it. If you've used it, things you've liked, um, things you didn't like, you can write me at info at regainwellness.com. Or if there's any other you know supplements you want to see reviewed, I'll have lots coming up. Um, just pass them that way.
And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe to the show. That way you just get it um, sent to you each week. And whenever they come up, you don't have to worry about searching them. Automatically sent to you by the magic of the interwebs. So if you're on iTunes, just subscribe. Or I'm basically anywhere you can find podcasts like um, Google Play or iHeartRadio or, you know, whatever. I know everyone pretty much uses iTunes. So if you're on there, um, if you like it, leave a rating and review. That helps too. So that's it. Enjoy. And I will talk to you soon.